the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Broncos and the Silver and Black, and it comes your way next. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? Two-minute drill? Maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So now here are the Broncos to take over on offense, led out by their rookie quarterback, drafted 12th overall, Bo Nix out of Oregon. And he really established himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the country a season ago. 45 touchdown passes and only three interceptions. A dynamic athlete, processes a lot of information in a short amount of time, and puts his team in a great position to win on each and every down. You don't break the NCAA record for highest completion percentage without having all those attributes, and I think that he'll translate very well in Denver. Now a first carry for the former Tar Heel, Javante Williams, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Throwing Knicks. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Knicks from the shotgun. The linebacker, Robert Spillane, making a big play. But defensively, you really can't script the start much better. You get a three and out and a sack. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. They kept him short of a first down on first and second down. And then on third down, they pick up a sack. What tremendous momentum for them to start this game. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So out come the Raiders for their opening drive and at the helm in his first year in silver and black. Sixth season overall, Gardner Minshew. And he's someone who brings a ton of personality with him, but don't let that fool you. He's more than capable of playing winning football at this level and has actually done so. I don't know if he's their long-term answer under center, but as long as he trots out there, they'll have a puncher's chance and maybe a bit more to compete with any team they line up against. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. First carry of the game for Zamir White. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Short throw caught by Bowers, and he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Call it a gain of three on the play. 
And it brings up third and five now. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense, going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. They'll run here with a rookie. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw in that play with a loss. Being chased out left. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Nix. Over the middle, it's complete. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. To throw. Here's Nix. Now throw right side here. Going to be incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To throw is Nix. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards. Turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch. But the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 37-yard line. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders' 28. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Here's Nix. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Nicks to the air. His throw is going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Second and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Nix. He'll buy some time right, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Multiple players getting home for the one-yard sack. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. From the gun on third down, it's Knicks. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Brandon, you know I'm all about quarterbacks protecting themselves, but I have to admit it. I liked what I just saw there. That rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit. Now, you don't want to see him taking those shots all game long, but he picked up the first down, kept fighting for yards, and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving. This is caught. That'll bring out second and goal after the gain of five. Williams fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. If you're going to throw it. And Williams is in. For a Denver touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Broncos are on the board first here in Vegas. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Will Lutz on for the point after. And he's got it. 7 nothing Broncos. So that, amazingly, a 17-play drive. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off.
And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Second quarter from Vegas, the homestanding Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. They run straight ahead here with White. Gets through and now an opening. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A pickup of ten, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Minshew sets to throw. Short throw caught by Bowers. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Here's second and three. Here's Minshew. There's a short throw taken in by Bryant. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They go with White on the counter, and he'll get it inside the 35. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Now Minshew. That would complete to Trey Tucker. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And third and one now. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead, because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run-pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. Here's White. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. White. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They begin the drive with Williams. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. Takes this one up past the 20 after he's able to make a man miss. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. 
but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And his throw here is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. The Raiders on third down, just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. White, he'll try the left side. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll drop to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Here's second and ten. Back to throw here. There's a short throw taken in by Bryant. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. He'll look to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because... You understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll run for it. This is White. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. That was fourth and what we would call long in that situation, wasn't it? That wasn't fourth and inches, was it? No, I mean, you get in those situations, fourth and three, fourth and four, that's that's a lot to, what, what would you say, a lot of pizza left in that box. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> Not everyone dove in on that one. In today's NFL, this is a passing down. All right, This is not a running down. That takes a lot of guts to call that play and even better execution. Out of the gun is Minshew. Touchdown, Raiders! Brock Bowers from three yards out. And the Raiders will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And it's through, and that makes the lead 
So that one a long 11-play drive. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Broncos going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Knicks, screenplay set up for Williams. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. They'll look to throw now on first down. And down he goes, brought down a Raider sack. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Back to throw. Nix, they'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw. Nix. Oh, that is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 53. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the 1-2 to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still a little bit of time following the made field goal, but we are tied as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. And his throw's going to be incomplete. 
So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Raiders' offense and their running back, Zamir White, getting set for their next drive. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Now, that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with. Because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. They go right back to White here on first down. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From the 38, Minshew to the right side and intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spend in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it. Not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live. And now they've got to find a way out of this hole. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 52 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. A short one of the tight end, Troutman. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Second and two. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. 
found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Williams will try again. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Williams is into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Lots of look to add the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. A drive that time of six plays. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over-pursuing, and making a very nice play. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and nine. Running from the shotgun with Madison. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun now on third down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, They'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Broncos take over. First down and 10. 
The offense getting set again. We spotlight Javante Williams, the running back. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some massive men. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. Taken down at the 42. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down at six now from the 42. Back to throw. Nix. Over the middle complete. That's Franklin. First target, first catch at a first down. Up the middle, it's Williams. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 40 yard line. 81 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Well, oh, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Throwing Knicks. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Mm -hmm. 
Now a second and ten. Off the bootleg, here's Nix. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. After sack happened, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. The Broncos on third down. They've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. This is third down and 12. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Javante Williams. An 18-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And the lead is up to 14. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. The drive starts with a run by White. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short. Could they just hand it off for another big game? Or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Second down and four. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. From the gun, Minshew to throw. He'll get that out to the flat to White. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. They'll look to throw here. This is White on the screen. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball, but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short gain. Third down and one. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. Shifts past him at the 45. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 
112 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll go Madison up the middle. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. He'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. D.J. Turner. 36 yards. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Broncos offense and Javante Williams head out for this next drive. And as we roll through some of the highlights, we see how crucial he's been to their success in this one. When he's in this type of a groove and his offensive linemen are creating running lanes for him, he can really put on a show, and he's done so here. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. To the sideline and incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football into places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw, here's Nix. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Kudos for the defense from me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. To throw his Knicks. It's complete to Williams. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. 
I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. They start to drive with White. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. They go with White on the counter. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Here's Minshew. And the throw there going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And it will be first and ten as they take over. The Broncos' offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Right now, clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get you reset here. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. 
Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll come up now third and three. Again, it's Williams. And he is going to have the Broncos first, and that should be the capper. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. take a knee now second and 11 from the 32 From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured they go down to a knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory. And that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.